Hello again. I ordered some stickers from an online shop called Online Labels. I don't know if this would be more suited to my art blog, I mean art channel or not, but um, making stickers is kind of a hobby as well, so I figured I'd make a small little review for anyone thinking about buying from them. So the website is onlinelabels.com and they they sell a lot of um you know blank labels for mailing and stuff but you can also buy full sheets um that are perfect glossy and or they can be matte and all kinds of stuff for um the required number you want um in bulk so they do charge you based on how many you get i got 50 they're um on the website it was listed 100 for i believe 50 dollars but you can change the num the quantity and it'll adjust the price for you. So I chose 50 because I wasn't sure what the quality of this paper would be. Um, and as you can see, the total was 32.48, but shipping is five dollars because they ship priority. See, they just ship it in the regular old um, 12 by five and nine. Um, 0.5 inches priority mail USPS envelope and because it is paper they don't really do much with the packaging they just stuff this in there in a bag um, so here is the packing list and then the back just has um, not really sure printing tips and stuff website and then here is the specifics of the paper that I bought and then under that is the actual paper itself. Let me see. Yep. So, so far it looks pretty good. It looks glossy. Um, it does not have um, the big old break in the back because it is sticker paper. So, um, that's good. That means that if you print like a bunch of stickers um, and have to cut them out, you won't have that big old line going across a couple of them. So that's good. That's the reason I bought this. So they have an option where that's there and then that's an, um, an option where it's not there. So if you go to look up um, and buy some of them, um, I suggest you make sure to pick the one that says it does not have the line break in the back. So, first impression is pretty good. This feels pretty good quality. It's nice and not that flimsy. It's kind of thick. Um, but time will tell if it's any good. So I'm going to go print out some samples and I will be back when I am done with that. I'm back from printing. So I did two printings, test printings of this. Um, one was the original without any um, changes to the image. Um, it was printed in PNG format in RGB mode. So I think it did pretty well. Um, I know a lot of people say that you should have all of your images, images that you want to be printed on paper or shirts in CYMK. But this turned out pretty close to um, what it looks like in the image. I do see some imperfections that I'm going to have to go back and um, clean up the image on. But other than that, I think these look pretty well. Um, they print solid. The only issue, it might just be my printer, but um, you can kind of see little specks of where the color didn't. It's not as matte. You can see little specks. But I don't know if that's just my printer. I use a Pixma, uh, Ken Pixma printer. I don't know if that's my printer or the paper. But other than that, they, do, they look really nice. And I'm very happy with how they turned out. So the next test print was in C um, CMYK or CYMK. It's on um, the cyan setting. So instead of red, blue, green... It's um, cyan, magenta, yellow, I think, and something else. <laughs> but honestly, it looks pretty close. It looks the same, honestly, to the 
to the other one. Um, sorry about the order. The order's messed up because um, I was too lazy to do them individually and copy paste them into Word. So I just got the whole image. But they look pretty close. Like, I don't really see a difference. I really don't. And then, well, on the camera you can kind of tell this one's darker, but in person, it I honestly can't tell much of a difference. Um, maybe it's just the angle I have this at, but yeah, I don't really see much of a difference. I think it looks good in both, and the printing didn't mess up. My printer is on, actually low on ink, so the fact that it didn't yell at me to switch the ink is pretty good. So far I'm satisfied with these, and um, I was getting worried because um, I it was really hard to get this backing off. I For a second there I thought they just sent me um, regular old photo paper, but it is sticker paper. Um, the photo paper itself still feels pretty sturdy. Um, it's really sticky, which is good for stickers, um, but just... Um, if you're going to buy this, I, I know if I'm going to sell these stickers at some point, I don't know if I will, it'll probably just be giveaway things, but I'm going to have to warn the person that they're going to have to be very careful about pulling the backing out because I had to make a rip just to um, get the seam off. It's very hard to get the backing out. Um, but other than that, um, I'm very satisfied with these this paper. I'm still hoping that the cheaper alternative that I know a lot of artists use for their stickers will get restocked and I'll buy that because $40 for 50 pages, that's just too much for me. Um, for now, I will be using all of these to do some stuff. But once that cheaper alternative comes out, I might go for that and see how that turns out. Thank you for watching.